Okay, okay, just gotta, gonna set up the camera here. Oop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, just gotta get it up here. <laughs> um, oh, this is really hard to do. I can't see where I'm going. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Trying something new out here. Welcome back to Near Craft. Uh, there's a lot that happens in this episode, and so I am here to guide you through it and then segue you into the next episode, which is... Hello? <laughs> what is this? Anyways, a lot happens. What is going on? Wait, are there pillagers? Oh my god, hold on now. Oh no. <laughs> this is not going the way I wanted it to. Alright, just ignore the arrow sticking out of me as I try to... Oh, that... Uh... Oh, left and right being reversed is real confusing for me. <laughs> this is a hot mess. Anyways, next episode is a murder fest. You won't want to miss it. Today's episode starts with Mine Crabo and Sage summoning me to the Mossy Peninsula. And uh, this is what happened. Hello? Hello? Hello. So, this is an MLG thing, so can you fly up to the red platform? You want me to plummet down into this? <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Ooh, free stuff. Wait, hey. don't jump, don't jump yet, <laughs> don't jump yet. We'll tell you when you can jump. Okay. Okay. Jump. <laughs> Did you line the inside of that with obsidian? Uh, yeah. Why? So... It's, it was more for, like, decoration. Is it, yeah. though? It is. See, this looks like a trap now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like... Yeah? You're I feel like my options... Guy. Okay. <laughs> I feel like my options are I hit the side of it and die, or I plummet into it, and then what if one of you has obsidian? Bradley, I think you know me. I am poor. I never have obsidian. Minecraft's not poor. Look, don't die, please. I'll sue your corpse. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you are so close. I hit it the I'm same glad. way. I'm just like... Okay. You mean. Do you need to go back down there again? Uh, no. Okay. Actually, yes. No! No! <laughs> I hate it here. Where did the head go? No, where did the head go? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what? Okay, you may now jump. Okay. Please don't die this time. Maybe third time. <laughs> thing. Never mind. <laughs> I'm coming again. You're ah! Give up until. No! I knew it! I knew it! No! 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 What was that? <laughs> you chaotic little child. Bradley, why? Ha ha! Oh, yeah. <laughs> can somebody oh, kill me so I can get back up there again? Oh, yeah. No, my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die. Well, this is my life now. Well, apologies for your death. Hey now, no! Uh oh. He's stolen all of my stuff.
Thank you. No! <laughs> well, I had I time to get it. my helmet only. I've wanted to do this the whole entire season. Oh my god, are you putting are you putting TNT in her face? <laughs> no! <laughs> Do you that think I'm like evil? a lie? Wasn't that a what you bit, said yes. before? That you wanted to put TNT behind her nose or something so when somebody pushes it, she blows up? No! <laughs> you really that think that that's though. who I am? Yes. Yes? <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's TNT in the mama. Do not press the button. I have a deal for you. Okay. I will not murder the Moss Mama if you can beat me in a PvP match. It'll be just iron armor and iron tools. I'm not gonna be able to beat you in a PvP match, I feel. Really? But you know what? We'll give, we'll give it a try. That's acceptable. Okay. The Moss Mama's gonna get blown up. I set up a small arena on the top of the continent past Andre's base. Sage agreed to referee. Mine, Thoreau, and I got in our iron armor with only bread as food, and the match began. <laughs> Give us a three, two, one, go, Sage. Okay. Are you chaotic little children ready to fight to the death? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Three, two, one, smack. No! <laughs> no! Why was I no. right? No! <laughs> Goodbye, Moss Mama. It was nice knowing you. <sighs> oh, she's just a floating head. <laughs> Did she actually blow up? Everything is gone except for her head and the top of her staff. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is so sad. Myself and the Moss Men, Sage and T, decided that we needed to take retribution on the wrongs that had occurred. So, we decided we needed to fly to everyone's bases and deposit moss to let them know the moss mama will have her revenge. T and Sage are both quite poor, so uh, we had to go to the shopping district to get them some enchantments for flying and such. And while we were there, I got to peek into Sage's shop where they are selling hats that Roxy has made and look at these hats real quick. Now get over here and look at these fancy hats! Whoa. These are so cool, aren't they? Whoa. Can you try them on for us? <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Oh my. <laughs> oh, I like this one. You could wear that with your business suit. <laughs> you should put that in your offhand. <laughs> so fun. <gasps> You're kidding. It's so cool, isn't it? That is so cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really like the witch hat. Buy it from me. And a party hat. I love these. Let me plop open my ender chest and I will take one of each. <gasps> Give me money. <laughs> Okay, now that we have looked at the hats, it is time to return to our Moss Mama plans. We traveled all up and down the continent to everyone's bases, even leaving the continent for one person's base. And there were a few small accidents along the way. I also may have blown up to some creepers at one point.
But here's the thing, a couple of the bases on this little impromptu bass tour got deleted because my footage got corrupted, which is so sad because it was literally the funniest part. So let me just show you this clip to explain to you what you missed. As I was saying, a couple clips got cut. There's so many animals here, my god. A couple clips got cut. And the first of those clips was depositing moss here at St. Chicken Thee, which I don't think has really been shown much in the videos, but this place belongs to Snug Chameleon. And, oh, actually, this is new. Have not seen this. And there's monsters galore. Don't want to blow anything up. This is the moss we deposited. St. Chicken Thee is a chicken church. It's a cult. Uh, anyways, bye. The next place that we visited, the only other place that was cut, and I'm so sad that this footage got corrupted because it was so funny, is this place. This belongs to Pancake. And from the outside and from the map, it looks like this really small little campsite. And it's not. It's insane. So I'm going to walk you through it because I just think it's super cool and has to be shown in a video because Pancake does not make videos. So I need to do this justice. Pancake is very good at building and also redstone. And I don't understand how this redstone stuff works, but listen to this. I don't know if you heard it, but there is a puffer fish in there somewhere and it makes this wireless redstone thing work where you just walk up to it and the puffer fish activates it. I'm not gonna show you everything that's in here because it's enormous. This is the center of it and this is the way that we went first. So we weren't even in here to put moss here, but also like, look at this stuff. I am so proud of Pancake. We were just here to explore. And maybe that was a bad decision on our part because um, we did not know what we were getting into at all. So there's this room here, which is kind of incredible, but also like there's skeleton hands on the sides of these things. We should have realized that this was not a good place to be. So. When you reach the end, there's this. And I'm going to attempt to do what I did when the three of us came here together. There's powdered snow at the bottom of this, and I think it's supposed to catch your fall, but like also I don't really trust it. And this is not the bottom of it. This is just a little cave that shoots off of it, but this cave is actually how, oh, there's a zombie coming. This cave is how I died. I'll explain that in a minute. So here we are. Hopefully that zombie's not gonna follow us down here. And let me just walk you into this part over here because it's kind of stunning. Look at this. And then you look off to the side and there's this. Like this is incredible. Oh, whoa, wait, I actually did not see this before. What is this? Spoilers, it's spoilers. I can't show it to you now, but I will come back here later. Uh, this is spoilers for the next episode. That's not the point. The point here is that I died. I got to the end of this and I poked around a little bit and could not figure out how I was supposed to get back up. There is a way back up. It's very clear. It's uh, it's literally this minecart thing right here. That's it. It's not even complicated, but I decided to fly back up here and I hit that cave on the way up that I hit uh, coming down this time. And uh, when I tried to fly like out of the cave and continue back up this little channel, Instead, I plummeted to my death and died right here. And then uh, Sage and T got down here somehow and tried to collect all my stuff. And then there was a whole process of trying to get all of our things and ourselves back up that tunnel until we eventually realized that this is the way out. Is there a minecart here? Yes. Like I should have known that this would be the way out because like it's a minecart that takes you up, but Yet, I died. I died anyways. The irony here is that <laughs> the reason that we figured this out, that we figured out that this is the way up, is because we went through another one of the passageways in here and took this elevator. And this is an elevator that will take us, uh, where's the button? Oh, right here. This elevator will take us all the way back up here. Despite being frightened of this place and all of the death that it held for me, this is such an incredible base. I cannot say it enough. This was my first time exploring this place, and I think that it's one of my favorite places on the server now. 
yeah, so the elevator comes out right here, and then you get back into the central area, and now, back to the rest of the video. Now in this next part, Sage has summoned me to the Moss Peninsula to show me whatever it is that you're about to see. I truly cannot give any more explanation than that. What in the world is going on? <laughs> what? Just wait. Just Why? Wait. Just wait. No! Just wait. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, I see you. I see you up there and I hate it. No, just go up. No, but I see you. I know. And what about it? A trail of blood? I... Step on this for money. What? Ah! I don't want to be here. That's nice. I apologize. Jesus. Ah! Tell it to me! This is abhorrent. So, what is this? Put your this? things in a chest. Put your things in a chest. Is there going please to be lava? Please. Okay. Let's okay. do this. <laughs> I are... Yeah, you go first. <laughs> no. Go on. You, you go on, actually. Okay, yep. <laughs> I lived after whatever that was I decided that I needed to set up an official villager setup because I tried this a couple times already in fact my season started with stealing villagers and yet I still don't have a villager setup I needed to get it done to be able to sell things at my shop and for cavern so I went down beneath the peninsula where the villagers are kept to get started on this, and um, like everything else on this server, nothing went to plan. Okay, so I have the villager set up here, and Gremlin. oh my god, why are you here again? <laughs> what do you mean, why am I here again? Why are you why here are you again? There? <laughs> I was trying to say, actually, how do I get to where I'm trying to get? Right here. I had this set up and they died mysteriously somehow. So I need to recreate it again and hope they don't die again. What just broke? <laughs> did you, did a tool of yours just break? Are you trying to dig down to me? Okay, so that's a yes. I can see your name tag, little man. Literally, you could have just stayed where you were and walked down to me. <laughs> Literally, I did not know that. How do you think I got here? Little man! Nothing can happen normally on here. Literally nothing. I just, I try to do one typical <laughs> Minecraft thing. And I can't even do that much. Exactly. See, I think this is a bit your fault. Because I was <laughs> watching your first day in your craft videos. And I was like, you know what? Nearcraft day one was chaotic as heck. And I want to recreate that, but every day. We're going to try to make this one look I like a little you, better little than the man. last time. Listen, I'm just trying to have a moment. Can you not? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. Better try to make this one look a little nicer than the last one. And maybe that will make them want to live a little bit longer. This is pretty ugly, but like it's better than the last one. So it'll do. There's another little Oh, hello. Bradley. Oh, this is perfect. It's just the three of us. Let's you can yes, you can yes. hear us, right? Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's have a meeting in here real quick. Ooh, the um, man meeting. You need to stop. How no, I don't. it's been 2 seconds. It's been 2 seconds. <laughs> it's <laughs> never felt better. Literally how. <laughs> Replant it. This is very important because I feel like I'm sure it is, little man. I feel you can just like back up a little bit. 
<laughs> no, it's you too. I hate this. It's so good for you. Uh, taking no damage. This is not affecting me. I, I have a point that I'm trying to make here, which is You can make that point our... while we slow walk at you. <laughs> we have to start taking out some of the Moss Men enemies. The Moss Mama has told oh, me as man. much now that she is just his head. And I believe The Moss Mama also must flourish and have a body again. Of course. It will happen. It will come. But we should hold a funeral service for Velxa. For why? Well, Velxa oh, booped the Moss Velxa Mama's the nose. Enemies? Yeah, Velxa booped the Moss Mama's nose, stole Moss unprovoked, and took it over to their base. And then just a few weeks later, the Moss Mama died. And I can't help but correlate these two events and feel that Velxa needs to die. And because we're not on a hardcore world and we can't actually go kill them, I think we just need to hold a funeral service for them, for the whole server, and not tell anybody what's happening. So this needs to be hush-hush between us. Nobody else can know. Wait, so we just organize an event, have everyone go there, and tell no one what it is. Yeah, and of course I'll have a few surprises for everybody there. Oh, heck yeah. Please tell us what they are beforehand. So of it's... course. I don't want to accidentally yeah. kill or maim you. Just the other people. Exactly, because then you will be on the Teletubbies deck. We're not talking about whatever fever dream you're living in right now. I'm not living in a fever dream. Have a child. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk. Hey! <laughs> hey T, if you go outside of this room, do you see the little staircase to the right? Can you go down there so I can um, dig to your name tag? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> and here's some little time lapses of me just finishing up the villager setup and getting everything working before I start the villager hall. I have just finished all of this stuff, and T and Sage have only just now left. <laughs> the um, the librarian. Okay, so I put the the cartographer and the farmer in there to make it a babies, and the librarian was still over here. But then I accidentally let him out, and T and Sage managed to get him in here, and then they spent like an hour just watching them through this window and describing the drama that was happening between them and the farmer was cheating between the librarian and the cartographer. It was wild, but I want to go down here and check how many villagers have ended up down here. I don't have a good way of getting in. We're just gonna... Uh... <laughs> So this may have been a little bit too effective. I Is there a way to turn off a villager breeder? Like, <laughs> all of this looks very ugly, but like it looks nicer than it was before. And it's laid out a lot nicer than it was before. And down here, when enough of these start growing, they're just not there yet. This is going to start filling up with melons and pumpkins that I can trade. And hopefully that means that that plus this and then maybe plus some stick trading can get me a lot of emeralds that I can start to trade up with these guys. But I feel like this is a pretty good start. All right, I don't even know where I left off the last clip, but I have been down here for a very long time. Some of this you saw before already. Um, now there's cows here too. And I'm a cow head. <laughs> down here, there is this farm that has been producing uh, pumpkins and melons for me. And then, <laughs> whew, then there's the trading hall. And I have been spending a lot of time here trying to get a bunch of trades unlocked and uh, set things up both for the junk drawer and for cavern. There were a few accidents along the way, which is why there's a couple empty spaces here. I may have ran out of villagers. Uh, and I took the beds out of the breeding thing because I didn't want more babies. So I had this setup going, right, where the babies would fall down uh, and I would scoop them up into here and 
this track would go up above all of these different stalls and deposit them into one of them. All of them are sitting on double carpets so that they can't pathfind off of it, which is really, really nice. And also looked really funny before I had put these things in because they were just like standing there motionless. These guys are trading the melons and pumpkins. And then I've been using stick trades with these guys. Uh, I'm trying to get diamond tools and stuff with these ones and I already have diamond armor with these ones which then I can sell it for a lot cheaper than it'll take to make because you know it's just emeralds and then with these guys these are the ones I've actually gotten most of the emeralds from because of this clay trade in digging out the mega hole thing for my base which by the way I have made more progress on I've gotten a lot of clay, and so I think I might take a trip through some lush caves to gather some more because this has gotten me stacks on stacks of emeralds. I have to rearrange the stuff in the junk drawer a little bit so I can expand my stock because I'm going to have a lot more things to sell soon and I need the space for it. And we're done. I have shifted things around a little bit and added a bunch of stuff and made the signs glow signs, which sometimes with the shaders looks whack. <laughs> You'll see it upstairs. There's some that look really, really strange, but there's a lot of stuff here. So all of this is pretty much the same, except I also added uh, bricks and I shifted this around a little bit to make room for the ladders. And now there are two any item boxes. There's a one diamond box and there is a two diamond box. So, upstairs, this is what we've got going on. This terracotta stuff looks whack. Also, look at this fun little time lapse of me getting all of it. But like with the shaders and the glow signs, it's like, okay, this, this, wait, no, not that. Wait, this, <laughs> this is brown. Like, let me take this out. That's the color and yeah. Anyways, the terracotta stuff, other than just the, the normal terracotta, is all new. And then I also put redstone up here. This one is empty right now. There's nothing in there. And then we have silk touch, protection four, mending, unbreaking, and fortune three. And like, there aren't many of most of these. It's a pretty wimpy start. And then in this one, this is just one of each of the rest of them. Two diamonds each. So sweeping edge, respiration, infinity, looting, and riptide. It's not a great start for the books, but like it's a start. And there will be more as I continue to work with the villagers. It just takes a long time. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this right now. We just have to, uh, now that we've situated our own shop, we need to work on the cavern shop soon but that will be something for another episode. And that is all the time we have for today. Next week, we will be explaining what this room is and what its purpose is and why all the heads are here. It will all make sense as the moss men begin to take their revenge. Anyways, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you next time. Bye. I love this camera mod.